In this webcast, we're going to sum up electrophilic aromatic substitution by looking at some of the general factors that contribute to product formation. We know from our previous studies of aromatic chemistry that alkyl groups act as weakly electron donating groups. Electron donating groups can produce both ortho and para substitution products. It's difficult sometimes to predict which will be the major product, the ortho or the para substitution product. However, it's experimentally observed that steric factors play a role in the ortho para product ratio. When ethyl benzene is nitrated under the reaction conditions that we have learned in this lesson, the nitro group is added in both the ortho and para positions in a one to one ratio. However, when tert butyl benzene is nitrated under the same conditions, the product ratio changes and the para substitution product dominates. Knowing that the electronic properties of both the ortho and para intermediates are very similar, it's logical to conclude that the product ratio observed arises through steric interactions. We can attribute this to the tert butyl group sterically hindering the substitution of the nitro group at both ortho positions and not sterically hindering the para position. When analyzing the reactions of disubstituted benzenes in electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions, several factors must be considered. First, you need to consider the directing ability of each substituent already on the ring. We know that a methyl group is an ortho para director, therefore it will direct the nitro group to both ortho positions. However, the para position is already blocked due to the nitro group already present on the ring. We also know that a nitro group is a very strong electron withdrawing group and will direct the new nitro group to both meta positions. Therefore, in this case, both substituents are directing the nitration to the same position on the ring. As we can see in the product, the new nitro group on the ring is meta to the original nitro group and is ortho to the original methyl group. However, when substituents that are already on the ring do not reinforce each other's directing ability, it's important to know which group is a stronger director. Therefore, in those cases, you need to recognize the strong electron donating groups, such as hydroxyls, amines, and alkoxy substituents, as these types of groups will dominate the directing ability of the ring. Let's sum up what we've learned in the electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions. First, you should know the mechanism. It's a two-step process that happens the same each time. You should also be able to identify the key electrophiles that react with the aromatic rings. You should also understand why a group is an ortho para director or why a group is a meta director, and that it's the ability to stabilize the carbocation intermediate or destabilize it that affects the directing ability. And finally, you should work as many simple problems as you can so that when you're faced with a more complex problem, you'll have the logic that you need to solve it.